A modified Hummer EV could be in the cards for the U.S. military. At 2023's Modern Day Marine in Washington, D.C., GM Defense showcased a new Hummer hybrid concept. It's based on the GMC Hummer all-electric pickup. They're calling it the Electric Military Concept Vehicle, or EMCV. We only have pics of it for now. It uses the Hummer's EV chassis and suspension system. Look at those tires. Puts lowrider show wheels to shame. 37 inches. It has a different brake system, making it much more apt for off-roading. GM's made the militarized Hummer EV's main source of power a 24-module, double-stacked, 200-plus kilowatt-hour Ultium battery pack. There's also a 12-kilowatt diesel power generator for limited charging, so that's where the hybridism comes in. I would imagine it sort of works like the gas-powered Tesla chargers. <laughs> have you seen those things? The EMCV is supposed to have a 300-mile final combined driving range. It can charge for a 100-mile drive in 12 minutes. For comparison, a 2023 Hummer EV fully charges in about 15 minutes, and as YouTuber Out of Spec Reviews showed us, <laughs> costs over $100 to charge, no matter what. Hummer finds a way to make the ozone layer its slave. Back to the military Hummer EV. It's got a 46-inch gun ring and swing sidearm mount. This wasn't made for any specific request, just a pitch for the Army's Electric Light Reconnaissance Vehicle, or ELRV for short, program. Should be pretty good for a six-soldier scout squad on recon and security missions. I'll be doing my version of that with the Hummer EV in Call of Duty, thank you very much. The US military pays about $220,000 plus per Humvee, or as they call them, High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, or HMMWV. This new military Hummer EV slash hybrid's price is a mystery, but I'd estimate it at just under $300,000. Looks like a real-life Halo Warthog. Hey, remember when Hoonigan made a real-life Warthog and drove it in Times Square? Why an electric Hummer EV? Well, if it ain't about money, then it's about money. In America, the biggest consumers of Hummers ain't celebs or business tycoons. It's the Pentagon. In many branches of the US military, the Pentagon has replaced the Humvee with the $333,000 a pop diesel-fueled Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, or JLTVs. Like many of us, the Army is feeling the gradual shift from liquid-fuel-powered engines to electric engines. They too could be forced to electrify its wheeled vehicles. This could be GM's long play with its electric Hummer. The shift to EVs for the Army would not so much be for environmental reasons as for logistical and economic reasons. Logistically, an electric EV means less of a need for diesel fuel in those middle-of-nowhere military bases. Power provided by solar or nuclear energy could be more sustainable. Economically, as the popularity of EVs grow, the JLTV's Banks 866T turbo diesel engines tank might get a little more expensive to fill if fuel prices continue to rise. The U.S. Army plans to eventually purchase a large fleet of just under 50,000 JLTVs. These vehicles will serve for 20 years or more. GM and its EV must be planning to get in on that military defense spending money. The U.S. spends an estimated $5 billion on ground vehicles a year and $877 billion a year total in national defense. 